What I want to do today is connect our Google Sheets and Google Calendar apps so that whenever we add a row onto our Google Spreadsheet, a Google Calendar event will automatically be created. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my Google spreadsheet to trigger the creation of an event in Google Calendar, I'll need to use Google Sheets as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Spreadsheet Row as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Sheets sees that I have created a new row in my selected spreadsheet, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Sheets, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Click Continue, and then we'll need to set up our Trigger Apps data. Before we fill any data out, I'm going to check my spreadsheet to make sure that I have the necessary data. As we can see, I've set up my Google Sheets tabs as Summary, Description, Location, Start Time, and End Time. Go back to your Zap, and then under Spreadsheet, click the spreadsheet you want to use for your Zap. I'm going to click Zapier Meeting List. Under Worksheet, click the worksheet you want to use. I'll click Sheet 1. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Google Calendar into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Detailed Event and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Calendar with Zapier, just like I did with Google Sheets. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the calendar you want your data to appear on. I'll click the one I want to use. For the rest of the data, we'll use the spreadsheets from the tabs that we originally created. Under Summary, I'll click Summary. For Description, I'll click Description. Under Location, I'll click Location. For Start Date and Time, I'll click Start Time, and for End Date and Time, I'll click End Time. Next, click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new row is added into our Google Spreadsheet, a Google Calendar event will automatically be created. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.